winter is the new spring. Seven ways to create buyer and seller urgency today. I'm reporting live to you from the Omni Orlando in Champions Gate, where we're having our big event two weeks from now, believe it or not. Hard to believe that we're two weeks away. Yeah, this isn't one of those fancy backgrounds, you know, that moves. That is that is a real palm tree above my head, not a green screen. Uh, no, every every uh, every event, we have to come out a couple weeks prior to make sure the room is set up correctly, uh, make sure lighting, effects, uh, AV sound, um, walking paths, you know, you know, walking paths, you know, this year's a little different because at our event, uh, everyone's going to be spaced six feet apart. So we're learning the COVID conference experience, if you will. And they're, you know, we're talking about what are going to be entrance doors, exit doors, and how to keep everyone safe. So I felt like it would be appropriate. This would be a good topic. Winter is a new spring. And here I am down in Orlando where we're all going to be a few weeks from now. All right, let's go ahead and jump in. First things first, I know every time we do any type of webinar, we always have some newbies on or some first timers on. So thank you, of course, for joining us. And uh, for those that are, have been with us for a while, have been either coaching clients or just general attendees to a lot of the things that we do, bear with me for a moment while I share some resources. We do have a new resource for even our veterans and those that have been around with uh, for, with us for a while, I do have a new resource that I'm going to share. Again, my name is Jeff Glover. I'm from Detroit, Michigan. Short and sweet. Been in the business for 18 years. Been listing and selling real estate for that long. I'm still on the ground listing and selling real estate. I sell between 85 and 110 homes a year myself personally. Our team sells, hello everybody, my team sells uh, between 875 and 1,000 homes annually. And we've done so for the past five years year. So we're having some fun up in Detroit, Michigan. Actually, I've personally averaged over 100 sales a year, really for the last decade. And I'm proud of that. And I share that because you have a lot of options. You have a lot of people to listen to. You have a lot of coaches, you have a lot of trainers. And at the end of the day, there is not a single real estate coach selling as much real estate as I am as our team is. So we appreciate you trusting us with your business with your knowledge. And I promise you today will not disappoint. All right, couple quick resources. Number one, uh, we've got a new resource. So for those veterans that have been to a lot of our stuff, you may not know that you're finding out because they're they're being distributed throughout the gazettes and we're announcing it two weeks from now at our event. By the way, for those of you that are first timers, we have an event coming up. It's called the Live Unreal Summit. It's down in Orlando, Florida, where I'm reporting to you live today. Uh, if you want to check it out, liveunrealsummit.com. That's L-I-V-E-U-N-R-E-A-L, the word summit.com. Uh, totally socially distanced event. Uh, masks are required when you're up and every single seat is going to be six feet apart from one another. Anyways, a couple new, or I've got a new resource for you. Number one, I want you to write down wherever you're taking notes. I want you to write down the word morning, M-O-R-N-I-N-G. And next to that, I want you to write down 55444. Morning and 55444. Why am I having you do that? Well, because we haven't announced it yet publicly. It's starting to show up in our Gazette, our quarterly publication. And we're going to talk about it a little bit. And we're going to announce it at our summit in a couple of weeks. But I'm now doing a daily message for all of our followers at absolutely no cost. It's totally free. So if you want to sign up for something motivating, something inspiring, something educating, uh, sometimes it's it's a new script. Sometimes it's just something that says, go get them. Uh, sometimes it's, hey, here's what's happening in the market today. Let's take action on it. If you want to receive a daily message every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, take out your cell phones. I'll give you a second to do so. So just grab your cell phone, just like as if you were texting a new friend. All right, I'm going to make this easy on you. I'm going to give you step-by-step -step instructions. As if you were texting a new friend, you go to your text messages, you type in the phone number 55444. It's only five digits. I know it works. And then in the body of the message, you just type the word morning. That's it. Don't have to worry about punctuation or anything. Just type in morning and we will get you all squared away to receive that message daily. That's totally free. That's on me. I type those every morning and we get those out as fast as we can to get your day started right. That's the first new resource I wanted to share with you. The next I say new, although it's been around for a bit, 
I say new just because I received my copy last week and maybe you've already received yours in the mail. We do a quarterly publication called the Glover Gazette. The winter 2021 edition is out. All right, we send out 30,000 copies of these to realtors across the United States and Canada. If you want a copy of this, go ahead. It's, you know, it's 40, 50 pages of real estate sales and business content. This is a good one. I believe it's our best yet. They just keep getting better. If you would like a copy of this magazine mailed to you at absolutely no cost, I would love to send you one. You go to gloveru.com forward slash gazette, gloveru.com forward slash gazette, G-A-Z-E-T-T-E. -T -T -E. We'll put you on the mailing list. You'll be one of the 30,000 across North America that received this. And uh, our, our most recent copy just came out. If you're already on the mailing list and you're thinking, wait a minute, do I need to be re-added? No, if you're already on the mailing list, you'll receive it. They were sent out about 10 days ago. And if you know how anything about the U.S. Postal Service right now, maybe you'll receive it by next Christmas. All right. If you don't normally receive it or you've never received one in the mail before, GloverU.com forward slash Gazette. Totally free. We don't charge you for postage or anything like that. It's on me. Last but not least on resources, while you have your phone in your hand. Okay. I know many of you are return uh, visitors and I appreciate that. Some of you are brand new. Go to your Facebook app. I'll give you a second, open up your Facebook app. Click on the little magnifying glass up by the message and just go ahead and type in there, Glover U Inner Circle. Glover U Inner Circle. Okay, it's totally free to join. Most of you have already in there. So forgive me if you're already in the group and you're hearing this for the 10th time or 20th time. Glover U Inner Circle, click to join. You want to kill two birds with one stone i put all of our content in there you want to kill two birds with one stone if you want to subscribe to the gazette you can just do that through the circle and ask you if you want to subscribe all right that's g-l-o-v-e-r the letter u inner circle all right you're here today to learn how to create some urgency you know we're not talking too much about where to generate buyer leads where to generate seller leads that I have to go take is what happens when I say, you know what, no, we're doing All right, let's try this again, guys. Sorry about that. Uh, we're gonna keep an eye on the Wi-Fi issues and if we have an issue, of course we tested all this stuff beforehand and you know how that works. Everything works fine until we actually go live. So let me back up a second. Where, where we started off was talking about seven ways to create urgency with our leads right now. Seven ways to create urgency with our leads right now. So I'll just go ahead and jump right in. Point number one. I want everyone, and these start off, by the way, kind of basic. Trust me, you're going to like them by the time we're done here. Point number one, we need to eliminate the thought. We need to eliminate the thought that spring really is the best time to buy or sell. A lot of us, as we were growing up in the real estate industry, were told that, oh, yeah, spring is the best time to buy. Spring is the best time to sell. And the reality is, is that's not true. Spring is not the best time to sell. Spring is not the best time to buy. When is the best time to sell or buy? The answer is when it's right for our client. The answer is when it's right for our client, right? Because you see that you could say, well, yeah, but Jeff, homes show better in the spring. Landscaping shows better in the spring. Well, that's fine. In the winter, nobody's paying attention to, to the landscaping. Nobody's paying attention to, to the way things look. So everything's relative. So you can't argue that spring is really the best time to buy or the best time to sell. Well, yeah, but there's more choices in the spring. 
All right. Well, isn't there more competition in the spring if there's more choices? Right. So you could argue every single every single way. So the reality is there is no best time to buy or best time to sell. The best time to buy or best time to sell is when it's right for our clients. So we really need to eliminate this idea. And I, I'll tell you, through the years, I still have agents come up to me on break at our event saying, well, wait a minute, isn't, isn't, isn't spring the best time? I, I was always told spring is no, the best time is when it's right for our client. So we have to eliminate the thought that spring is the best time to do anything because you can give me seven arguments of why spring is the best time. And I can give you seven other reasons why it's not. We're going to talk about that in just a bit. Number two, talking about creating urgency with our buyer and seller leads today. Number two is make sure you fully understand. Make sure you fully understand the benefits of selling and buying right now. Make sure you fully understand the benefits of selling and buying right now. A lot of agents actually cannot articulate the reasons why it makes sense to, to, to do something now versus waiting. A lot of agents can't really explain to a client why November, or February 25th is the best time to buy and let me explain. February 25th is the best time to sell and let me explain. So let me give you a few ideas. Again, we're going to get to the good stuff. I got to get the foundational basic stuff out of the way here. Well, Jeff, why, why is it a good time to buy? Well, of course, most of you, if this was one of those webinars where everyone was chiming in, you would throw into the chat, here's all the reasons why it's the best time to buy. And if I were to say, why is it the best time to sell? Here's all the reasons why it's the best time to sell. Well, it's the best time to buy because we know interest rates are low. And here's the reality. We know that there's a chance they're probably not going lower. There's a better chance that they're going up than that they are going down. You can't deny that. There's a better chance that they're going up than they are going down. In fact, it was only a year and a half ago that they were a full point higher. So it's very reasonable to think that they could go up a half a point, three quarters of a point, right? I know what the Fed puts out now. We're going to keep them where they're at for now, but we know that could change at any point in time. Chances are they're not going lower. In fact, I was talking to our loan officer earlier this week and they did tick up a little bit. So if the market picks up, which is by the way, generally speaking, why they reduce interest rates to keep, to, to keep things moving, to spark some interest. So if the market's moving in a positive direction, doesn't that mean that interest rates could tick up? Absolutely it does. So then in theory, could a buyer pay a higher interest rate in the spring than they're paying today? For sure they could. Well, why is it the best time to sell for a seller? Well, it's the best time to sell for the seller because they've got no competition. You know that every single home that comes on the market in your market is selling. You know they're selling for over asking price, you know, for the most part. They've got no competition right now. So that's the number one reason why a seller. Well, what happens when a seller says, you know, but I was thinking of waiting until spring. You know what's interesting about that? I'm going to give you a script, by the way. You know what's interesting about that? This is my response every single time. I've spoken to seven other sellers today who said the exact same thing that you just did. You know what's interesting about that? You're the seventh seller today that has said the exact same thing that you just did. And can I tell you why that concerns me? Well, why is that? Well, if every seller I speak to right now is telling me that they're going to wait till spring, what do you think that's going to do to supply when we finally get to spring? If everyone's saying they're going to wait till spring, well, it would probably increase supply. So then if it increases supply, what normally happens when supply goes up? Demand goes down. And if demand goes down, what, does, what happens with prices normally when supply is up and demand is down? prices flatten out or perhaps even go the other way. Now, of course, we don't have any evidence that the, the price appreciation is going to slow down, but it is basic economics. If everyone I'm talking to is saying they're going to wait till spring, which you know a lot of them are because there's no inventory, because there's no inventory, well, you could have a flood of homes that you're competing with. So Mr. and Mrs. Seller, it actually makes sense to do something now versus waiting until spring. Don't you agree? So number two is we have to fully understand the benefits of selling and buying right now. We have to be able to articulate them. We have to be able to explain them to a buyer. We have to be able to explain them to a seller. Well, what happens with the buyer says, yeah, but there's just no choices right now. Everything is relative, Mr. and Mrs. Buyer. You know, the buyer says we want to wait till spring until the, because there's going to be more homes to choose from. Well, don't you think other buyers feel that same way? The exact reverse the, the same psychology that I just gave you with the seller who's thinking of waiting until spring. 
Same thing goes for the buyer who's waiting until spring. Don't you feel other buyers are going to feel just like you? Don't you think other buyers are going to say the same thing? So if all these buyers wait until spring, won't you in essence have the same competition? Well, yeah, but there'll be more choices. Well, if there's more choices and the competition goes up, what difference does it make? So we have to be able to fully articulate the benefit to a buyer and the benefit to a seller to sell now, buy now versus waiting. You have to have two or three reasons, just like when we talk about with handling objections. If we have two or three reasons on, on, on the reasons why they should think differently, then they're more likely to take our advice. If we don't have those reasons, then guess what? They're gonna be selling themselves on their idea. So don't just get good at one reason. You gotta have two or three reasons. So make sure you fully understand the benefits. Number three, I wrote down, and this is a very important one. And I don't think I miss, I don't think I go a listing presentation or a buyer consultation without doing this one. And I wrote down for sellers and buyers, use the timing analysis to create urgency. For buyers and sellers, I want you to use the timing analysis to create urgency. If you're just hopping on again, this is Jeff Glover from Glover U in Detroit, Michigan. I'm reporting live to you. I sound like a newscaster <laughs> reporting this one is maybe, maybe what did it? I'm reporting live to you from Orlando, Florida at the Omni Champions Gate. We are down here getting ready for our summit, which is just two weeks away. So yes, if you didn't get your ticket, March 1st, they go up. The price goes up March 1st. So make sure you get your ticket. Liveunrealsummit.com, L-I-V-E-U-N-R-E-L, summit.com. All right, for sellers and buyers, I want you to use the timing analysis. And I promise you there isn't a listing appointment I go on. There isn't a buyer consultation that I go on where I do not present the timing analysis. So I want to make sure everyone understands what I mean by that. So what I want you to do, we're going to do this one together. What I want you to do is take out a clean sheet of paper. All right, I've got my eight and a half and 11 paper here. Yep, it's blown around. That's real wind. I know it looks like a fake background. That's a real Florida palm tree back there. Eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. And... We're going to start with the buyer side for a moment because some of you have been to our events and been to our programs. You're like, Jeff, I know your timing analysis. You've presented it before. And you're right. I presented it when I did the listing presentation on stage a few years back. But I've never presented to you the timing analysis for buyers. And every single buyer consultation I have, I present this to them. Wait, Jeff, you're still selling buyers homes? Yep, I'm still active with buyers. We've got to be active with both. Of course, I don't show homes anymore. I utilize a showing agent model, which we'll be talking more about that at our summit in a couple of weeks. But take out a clean sheet of paper and a pen. I'm going to use a Sharpie so it shows up a little bit better on the screen. So grab yourself a Sharpie and a, and a blank sheet of paper. And what I want everyone to do is write out just like this, just a line across your page. Forgive me, it's a little windy here. Just a line across your page like that. Okay, I know the lighting is, the sun is throwing that off. So let me get that in there for you. Okay, so it's a line across my page and my page is as we were taught early in elementary school, hot dog style, not hamburger style. So turn that paper hot dog style, horizontal, draw a line across and you're gonna put a notch in the front and you're gonna put a notch in the end. Okay, at the front, we're gonna put today's date. Today is 225, 225. And underneath that, I'm going to write start. Okay. So just so you get an idea, it's going to look a little bit like that. There's the notch 225 start. This is our first meeting. This is where we start the process. Now, by the time I get you set up on a search and by the time this is what, this is what I'm presenting to a buyer during a buyer consultation. And you're going to say, Jeff, well, this seems pretty kind of common sense. Why are we presenting this during a buyer consultation? Because the timing analysis increases urgency. Oh my gosh. It's one of the best things you can do to create urgency. So I'm going to use the timing analysis for buyers. I'm going to say today's date is 225. By the time we get you out and looking at homes, it's going to say, let's just say it's going to be three one. Okay. So we're going to call that shop. So I wrote down three one shop. Okay. And by the time you select a home. It's probably going to be a week or two. So we're going to go ahead and write 315 select. 315 select. Now, why am I writing 315 select when they just started shopping on 31? Because I'm planting the seed in their head that we're only going to be shopping for homes for a couple of weeks. That's what most buyers do. Most buyers who work with me find their dream home in a couple of weeks. And can I explain why that is? Can I explain why I'm able to find buyers or dream homes in just a couple of weeks? Sure. Why is that, Jeff? Because I get a really good understanding of what they're looking for, and I only show them the best values. 
So you can see that that's why a lot of our buyers end up finding the home they love within just a couple of weeks. You're planting that seed in their head so that they don't think they need to shop for 30 days or 60 days for a house. So Mr. And Mrs. Buyer, most buyers who work with me end up selecting a home by 315. All right, we start shopping by the first, I'm getting all your criteria now and you start looking at listings and you find one after a couple of weeks. Well, then we make an offer on 315. We go back and forth negotiating. It doesn't get accepted. Unfortunately, today's market, a lot of properties aren't getting accepted. So by the way, stepping out of the role play for a second, why am I telling them that? I'm telling them that because I'm planting the seed in their mind so that when their offer doesn't get accepted, they don't get mad at me. See, what tends to happen is when a buyer's offer doesn't get accepted and we don't tell them there's, that there's a chance that that could happen, then they're more likely to leave us and go find another agent. So during the buyer consultation, I'm factoring in time for their offer not getting accepted. Very important point. So then we go out shopping again. And by the, by the time we select another home, another week or two goes by. So I'm going to write select number one, select number two and let's just call it 325. So now we go back out because your first offer didn't get accepted and we're selecting the second house by 325. Now again, that's a month from today, by the way. So for those of you that are following along at home, by the time we select the house and get it negotiated, we're going to be pending. We'll just say negotiations go back and forth. Maybe there's a highest and best. You know, they want to keep it on the market for a few days. We're going to say that we're pending by 4-1. Okay, that's, by the way, that's only five days of back and forth, highest and best. Okay, so I know my screen keeps going out. That's because of the lighting. I'm, I really am outside. I'm not in the studio today. Pending 4-1. Today's date is the 25th. And by the way, Mr. and Mrs. Buyer, this is if you find something in two weeks, like most of our buyers do. Again, it's important that you point that out. You're planting the seed that we're only going to be shopping for a couple of weeks. Why are we only going to be shopping for a couple of weeks, Jeff? Because I'm going to get a good understanding of what you're looking for, A, and B, I'm going to make sure that I only show you the best values. All right, so we're pending by 4-1. Awesome, congratulations. Oh, by the way, we're not closing probably until... 5, 10. Okay. Let's just say it takes 40 days to get your mortgage done. I know everyone's a lender that can do it in two weeks. I've heard that same ends up being a month anyways. What happens if there's inspection negotiations? What happens if there's appraisal negotiations? So for the sake of this role play, I'm always telling them it's about 35 to 40 days before we're sitting around a closing table. And so I'm going to go ahead and write in there 5, 10, close. We're closing 510. Now I've got one last notch there on the back of my timeline. And that notch is, I write underneath there, keys. And above that, 610. This is so important if you want to create urgency with your buyers. 610. So what does that actually mean? Well, of course, depending on your market, some markets have use and occupancy where the seller actually rents the home back from the buyer so that they can stay in the home while they're shopping for their next home. And oh, by the way, that's just 30 days. I've seen use and occupancy 60, even 90 days. All right, so watch this whole process here from start to finish. From 225, we started today. Mr. and Mrs. Buyer, you select a home in two weeks Unfortunately, it doesn't get your offer doesn't get selected because there's a chance that it might not. You find another home 10 days from there. You're not actually moving in until June the 10th. Today's February the 25th. You show this to buyers for two reasons. Number one, to educate them on the process. And number two, for them to say, holy crap, we better get moving. We better get moving. Why is that? Well, because you have to assume I want you to write this down and I want you to stick this in your head for all of your language moving forward. You have to assume that all buyers and sellers believe from the time they meet with an agent to the time they're making a move, it's about 30 to 60 days. They honestly meet, they honestly believe if we start looking at homes tomorrow, we're gonna to be moving in 30 days. If we list our home for sale right now, we're gonna be moving in 30 days and watch this. You know that they believe this because they're still telling you, especially for those of you in the Midwest or, or in the Northeast, well, we don't want to move in the winter. We don't want to be moving in the winter. Well, watch, it's 225. 
Now, I'm down in Orlando, and of course, winter seems pretty nice down here. So for those of you that want to get away, two weeks from now, you'll have an opportunity to get away at our event at the Live Unreal Summit. But if I don't want to move in the winter, if I'm a consumer and I say to my agent, I don't want to move in the winter, well, then guess what? I probably think that I'm going to be moving a month or so from now. When the reality is, even starting today, you're not moving until June the 10th. Now, I'm quickly going to go through the seller one because I don't have to go into that much detail now that you guys have seen this at least once. So let's take a look at the seller one. Draw the same line, open a clean sheet of paper, turn to a clean sheet of paper, grab a clean sheet of paper, whatever, and do the same thing. Notch in the front, notch in the back end. Timing analysis works for buyers, works for sellers. This is one of the most important tools you can use in creating urgency. So same thing, today's date is 225. And I'm going to go ahead and write start. Mr. and Mrs. Seller, by the time we get your home on the market, it's probably going to be closer to, you know, I don't know, we'll call it March 5th, right? Because I need five, seven days to get photos, maybe staging, write my remarks. By the way, any agent that tells you they can have your home on the market next day, I'd probably run. They're not spending time and energy into making sure your listing is accurate. So by the time we get you live, all right, we're going to go ahead and just say it's 3-5. That's 10 days from now, live. Okay, so by the way, same thing I just showed you. And we're live on the market. And by the way, as you've probably heard, a lot of listings are selling in a couple days. A lot of listings are selling in a couple weeks. To keep it safe, let's just say it takes a couple weeks or 10 days to sell your house. So that takes us to 3-15. So we're pending. We're pending 3-15 pretty self-explanatory so far. That's assuming you're signing with me today, which most sellers do. So I appreciate the opportunity to go to work for you. So we're pending by 315, which by the way, Mr. and Mrs. Seller, do you know how long it's taking deals to close right now? No, how long is that? Well, it's taking about 30 to 45 days. So let's just pick a date. If negotiate. Forty-five days from three fifteen is actually. Now we're closing May the first again. For those of you that are just joining us, I use this on every single listing presentation. In fact, for those of you that are in listing mastery, we actually have this pre-printed at the bottom of our listing presentation. So I'm not drawing it out. Same thing in the buyer consultation. It's pre-printed at the bottom of our buyer consultation material. It's on every single document that we share with every single seller and buyer. If you don't have it, you can just do it the good old fashioned way because before I had it nicely printed and all professional, I just did it this way. And by the way, I, I kind of like this visual, right? Because you can hold it up and show them and put them in front of them. So 5-1, we're closing, which by the way, Mr. and Mrs. Seller, did you know that you're not actually moving 5-1? Because I can usually negotiate some time in the home after closing. So now we're at 6-1 keys. I can get you at least 30 days given how hot the market is right now. So now, and I didn't draw this to scale, but basically I should have used the last notch for keys. So now you're moving out on June the 1st and that's starting today. So, you know, Mr. And Mrs. Seller, even signing with me today and us getting your home on the market in, in about a week and us finding a buyer in about a week after that, you're actually not moving until June the 1st. What does that do? What is the benefit of presenting that? Well, that causes them to say that that removes this objection. You can forget about the objection of, well, we need to think about it because, you know, things are moving pretty quickly. We need to think about it because we got to figure out, you know, we got to figure out moving companies. We got to do those. Mr. Mr. Seller, you've got until June the 1st. You got plenty of time for all of that. So it eliminates the objection that they need time to get ready. They need time to think about it. That objection goes bye bye because guess what? They better get moving if they want to move this summer. All right. So that is point number. Three, timing analysis for buyers and sellers. Use it every time moving forward. All right, point number four. Point number four. Point number four is prices going up for buyers. Okay, write this down. Prices going up for buyers 
and interest rates going up for buyers equals a poor combination for waiting until spring. Prices going up for buyers and interest rates going up for buyers equals a poor combination for waiting until spring. So every time a buyer tells you they want to wait until spring uh, because there will be more choices, you have to remind them that prices are going up. Look at your MLS reports. Now, I know we've got people on from all over North America, but for the most part, every single market in North America is experiencing increases in homes va- in home values. And if you have the market data to show that, I would show that to a buyer and I would also show them that mortgage rates are at historic lows. And they even ticked up in the last week or 10 days. So if interest rates have a chance of going up and prices we know for a fact are going up, waiting is actually a double no-no because now you're paying more for the house regardless. So instead, Mr. and Mrs. Buyer, ready, here's the close. Why don't we just get a little bit more aggressive with the inventory that's out there so you're not stuck paying more for the inventory that's coming? I'll repeat that. Why don't we get a little bit more aggressive with the inventory that's out here now so you don't have to get stuck paying more for the inventory later? Well, how am I going to pay more? Well, look at the market data. Every single month, home values are going up. So we know the values are going to be higher two to three months from now. We know there's a chance interest rates could be higher. That's a double no-no. Why don't we just get a little bit more aggressive now? And by the way, if you want to take it a step further, I wrote down in parentheses, mortgage calculator. Break out that old mortgage calculator, whether you use a good old-fashioned one or you use an online one, and actually show them, hey, Mr. and Mrs. Seller, did you know? Now, I know right now interest rates are 2%, 2 2 2.5%, 2 and 3 quarters. Did you know a year and a half ago, interest rates were just at three and a quarter? In fact, I think they might've even been three and a half percent. So if you don't mind me sharing with you, even if prices stay the same, let's look at the difference of what you're gonna pay for this $250,000 house at currently 2.5% or what could happen 3%. Because that's what they were. If they were there 12 months ago, why couldn't that happen three months from now? And let me show you what that could look like. So I realize that you want to wait until spring until there's more choices, but we know for a fact you're going to end up paying more for a house because the home values are going up and we can prove that. And we know for a fact that interest rates aren't going to go any lower, right? We can prove that they haven't gone any lower and we've been stuck at this level. And oh, by the way, you're going to have more competition from other buyers. So there's now going to be more demand for just slightly more inventory. So why don't we just get a little bit more aggressive with the inventory that's out there? Number five. This is a good one, and you're going to start seeing this in all parts of the U.S. and Canada. Number five, to create urgency with your buyer and seller leads today, utilize the reverse contingency method. To create urgency with buyers and sellers today, utilize the reverse contingency method. I'll share with you what that is. The reverse contingency method. We all have had sellers say, you know what? I really don't feel comfortable putting my home on the market right now. This alone is going to get you a contract in the next 30 days if you use it, I promise you. We all have sellers that say, you know what? And by the way, this this technique has been around for decades. Uh, For those of you that have been selling real estate for a while, you, you probably are not a fan of me throwing this idea out there. And I know it's not exciting, especially when you're representing the buyer. The reality is, is this. You're going to see more and more of this, and this is going to become somewhat of a commonplace if the inventory levels don't increase, right? You know, we could go on and on about what it's going to take for the inventory levels to to increase. Gosh, I wish there would be incentive for builder costs to go down. I wish there'd be incentive for, for buyers to buy new construction, right? That would solve the problem, by the way. If there was an incentive... For the buyers to buy new construction, you know, ten, fifteen, twenty thousand dollar tax credit if they buy a new home, builders' costs go down so the builders builders can afford to buy more land, right? If all of that took place, we, that would solve our inventory problem. But I'm not running for Congress or president anytime soon. But if we utilize a reverse contingency method, which has been around for decades, it's not a fun one, and I say it's not a fun one because here's why. the The reverse contingency method is this. 
this listing is contingent upon the seller finding and securing a home of their liking. So a seller's listing goes on the market. For those of you who've been doing this for a while, you remember seeing these. They've been around before. Every now and then you've had a seller even ask you, could we do that? As a listing agent, you to say, no, 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 that's not going to work. No one's going to see your house. No one's going to want to come by your house. I promise you we're starting to see more and more of them. In fact, we just did a deal. I have a buyer right now that has been shopping for a house for four months. Her offer has been rejected six times. And she just got an offer accepted because we said, why don't you go for that one listing that says that they will accept an offer once they find a home of their liking? She got an offer accepted. Why'd she get an offer accepted? Well, of course, because some buyer's agents saw that in the remarks and were scared or told their buyers, oh, don't waste your time with that. So let me explain what it is. Listing it, you take the listing contingent upon the, the seller finding a home of their liking and securing it. You put it in the MLS. This seller, this listing is contingent upon the seller finding and securing a home of their liking. Buyers, agents, and buyers are aware of that when they show the listing. We put into the purchase agreement. This sale is contingent upon the, buy, the seller finding a home of their liking and securing it within a specified time frame. My recommendation is 30 days. And if the seller will go along with it, my other recommendation is, is that you leave a clause in there, or you add a clause that allows a buyer an out. If the buyer is, is able to find another home, they can withdraw from the purchase agreement without any penalty. So the buyer can still shop for a house. So you're, imagine you have a seller that says, I don't want to list my home right now until we can find the next home. You just solved that problem. You just got yourself a listing contract signed because a buyer, you've heard the saying bird in hand, right? A buyer is a bird in hand to a seller. And the sellers have comfort knowing that they know their price. They know the buyer, they know their qualifications and they can go out shopping and, and, and they can take as much time as they want. Now, a good buyer's agent is going to put a timeline on it. My recommendation is probably going to be 30 days. All right. So this is called the reverse contingency method. Now, if you represent the buyer, you can expect that you're going to have to pay at least for the inspection up front, maybe not the appraisal, but at least for the home inspection. Now, you may be able to negotiate that the seller will reimburse the buyer for their home inspection if the seller does not find a home of their liking. You might be able to negotiate that. There's no guarantee on that. But if you've got a buyer that's struggling to get an offer accepted, this is a perfect candidate for a buyer because there's going to be less competition from other buyers. Why is that? Well, that's because most buyers or buyer's agents are scared of this idea or have never heard of it. Well, it's actually been around for decades. We've just, as agents, we've just been so used to telling our agents, no, you don't want to go after that one. No, you don't want to go after that one. So if I have a seller lead right now and they tell me that they want to wait until there's more homes to choose from before they put their home on the market because they don't want to be homeless, that solves that one. Mr. Mr. Seller, we, what if I could tell you, you could put your home on the market, we could secure a price, we could secure a buyer, and then you could go out shopping. It's called the reverse contingency method. You're going to see more and more of it. I have a pending transaction right now where we represent the buyer. That was already out there. Somebody else was using it. We represent the buyer. with both your buyer and seller leads. Number six is be proactive. Be proactive, number six we're on, be proactive in sharing market data. Be proactive in sharing regular market data. Everyone has a perception of market data and in most cases, market data creates urgency for a buyer and seller. So even if they're not a high analytical or even if market statistics aren't really your thing, the more often you share market statistics with a buyer during a buyer consultation with the seller during a listing presentation, the more urgency you're going to create. Why is that? Well, the buyer is going to say, oh my gosh, um, prices are going up still. We got to buy something. We're going to be paying more for a house in the spring. Ding, ding, ding. That's why I share that with a buyer. Well, Jeff, why would you share it with a seller? Well, I share it with a seller because everything's relative. Well, what happens when the seller says they want to wait till spring? 
because prices will probably be higher in the spring using that same logic. Well, my response will be, are you buying a home once you sell? Yes. Isn't everything relative? I guess so. Prices go up on what you're selling. They're going to go up on what you're buying. They go down on what you're selling. They're going to go down on what you're buying. Everything is relative. So I want to be proactive in using market statistics to create urgency with my buyer and seller leads. I also want to point out low inventory. I want to point out how low inventory is right now compared to last year. So that way it backs up all my claims. Show them what the inventory was last February. Show them what it was last January. Show them what it was this January. Show them what it was this February. It will create urgency. Finally, number seven in creating urgency with buyers and sellers. By the way, for those of you just chiming in, I'm sorry that you came on a little bit late. My name is Jeff Glover from Detroit, Michigan with Glover U. Down in Orlando, Florida today, we're doing an event next two weeks from now called the Live Unreal Summit. Number seven, do not use the set it and forget it method. Do not use the set it and forget it method with buyers. Now, most buyers, you would agree, have homes to sell. And so my recommendation is whenever you have a buyer that has a home to sell and they're sitting on the fence, you do everything you can to not talk about listing their home for sale. Don't talk about showings and everyone traipsing through their house this time of year. Instead, I want you to talk about where they're going. Nobody wants to talk about selling. Nobody wants to talk about listing. Buyers and sellers want to talk about where they're moving, why they're moving. So when I say don't use a set, for, I mean a couple things. Number one, when you get a buyer set up on a search, don't just wait for them to reach out to you every couple days, especially if they're highly motivated. I want you to pick one random property and say, hey, did you see that house over on Banana Street? I know it's probably not going to last long, but we should at least go check it out. Or watch this. A seller says that they're not really motivated to do anything. Uh, you know, they want to wait. Hey, no problem. We don't have to worry about listing your home right now. Let's at least get you out and show you, give you an idea of what your money can buy you. Now, in a down market, listing agents don't like doing that. Listing agents say, ah, it's a waste of time. But right now, we need to create urgency so that way they want to take action now because they always think there's nothing that fits our criteria. There's nothing that fits what we're looking for. So don't use the set it and forget it method. Pick a random property every couple of days. Give them a call. Shoot them a text and say, hey, did you see this one? Well, Jeff, their home's not on the market yet. Well, number one, I just told you, you can do the reverse contingency method. And number two, it's going to get them excited. Nobody's excited to list their home for sale. Nobody's excited to sell. They're excited to buy. They're excited to move. Well, maybe not the moving experience itself, but they're excited about their next destination. Seven ways to create urgency with buyers and sellers today. The last thing I want to leave you with, is hopefully, if you were on right at the beginning, I shared all the resources with you. Go get your copy of the Gazette. Make sure you text MORNING to 55444. Last but not least, I've mentioned a few times now, and many of you are planning on coming, and you're going to be down here in a couple weeks, but there's a lot of you who are on for the first time. So for those of you that are already planning on coming, just bear with me for a moment. For those of you that are like, what the heck are you talking about? I want to share with you what we're doing. Two weeks from now, exactly Two weeks from now, we've got an event coming up. It's called our Live Unreal Summit. You may have heard of it before. The Live Unreal Summit is a three-day event that's taking place right here, Omni Orlando Champions Gate. It's three days, 20 plus speakers. We have panelists, we have breakout sessions, we have one-on-one -on -one interviews. I'm going to be on stage sharing our updated Glover U business and sales system. For years and years, we've been sharing the Jeff Glover sales system, and it's gone through an update. It's gone through a makeover. Why is that? Well, because remember, I'm on the ground listing and selling homes just like everybody else. So I'm going to be walking you through step-by-step -step everything that I'm personally doing to average over 100 sales a year the last decade, A and B, everything our agents are doing to sell between 900 and 1,000 homes per year. Now, here's the cool part. Obviously, with COVID, we're very sensitive to getting together. And I know a lot of you are in markets where in-person events aren't even happening. One of the reasons why we have it down in Florida. The other reason is, well, let's see, it's 80 degrees and gorgeous down here right now. And it's looking to be even better two weeks from now. So this event is on March 8th, 9th, and 10th. It's three days. You see the schedule down there at the bottom. 
we always do this surrounding a weekend because people take vacations and make a trip out of this. If you want more details and you want to register, you go to liveunrealsummit.com. That's L-I-V-E-U-N-R-E-A-L summit.com. The reason why it's urgent that you buy a ticket now is because come Monday, the price is going to go up where, where it's currently sitting at 349 to 400 bucks. Now, we get a lot of people that ask, well, what about the hotel, Jeff? That looks like a pretty expensive hotel, which I'm at the Omni right now. It's gorgeous. It should be expensive. This hotel is normally 279 to 299 a night during their busy season. We've negotiated a rate of 162 out the door. So that's like 130 plus the resort fee. Normally it's 2 3 250 300 bucks a night. A lot of people are coming down Friday and Saturday and they're making a vacation out of it. We always do a welcome party on Monday night. You don't want to miss Monday. That's that's when Monday and Tuesday are the biggest days. We're going to do a welcome party this year instead of inside, we're going to do it outside around the pool. We're maxing this event out at 250 attendees. We're doing that for a couple of reasons. None, number one, we want everyone to feel safe and feel like there's not going to be, they're not going to be surrounded by thousands of people. Number two, we are taking their largest ballroom, a bar, ballroom that would normally hold 2,000 people. 2,000 people this ballroom holds. We're putting 250 people in it. So I don't know what that is, like 15, less than 15% capacity. If you can imagine, every chair is going to be six feet from another, and you're going to have a table. Every single person is going to have the option to either sit at a table that's six feet from the next one over, the next one in front, the next one behind. And we're going to have a few rows that have double chairs. So if you come with a friend or a relative, your spouse, your significant other, we're going to have some rows that have two chairs to a table. But 250 people, we're going to have a mask rule, just like the we call it the restaurant rule. When you're up and moving around, your mask is on. When you're seated, you may take your mask off because everyone is socially distanced, six feet apart. Three days, panelists, breakout sessions, one-on-one -on -one interviews. We're going to have a lot of fun. That's Monday, March the 8th through Wednesday, March the 10th. If you'd like to join us, you go to liveunrealsummit.com. That's L-I-V-E. U-N-R-E-A-L Summit, liveunrealsummit.com, or just go to gloveru.com and click on events. We're going to be right here down in Orlando, Florida. I know a lot of people are coming in on Friday and Saturday, and they're making a vacation out of it. Why not take advantage of those room rates and this gorgeous weather? For those of you that are in Florida, it's easy for you to just make the drive over. 162 a night is the negotiated room rate. That's including the resort fee. And the ticket, normally for something like this, as you know, a lot of you go to conferences. We talk about getting exposure to other ideas and strategies all the time. Something like this is normally four or five, six hundred bucks. I mean, I, I go to conferences that are $7.99 for a ticket. You guys, this is $349. We're capping it at 250 people. I know there's a lot of you out there that are clients of ours, that are followers of ours, that are planning on coming. You've bought your plane ticket. You've, bought, you've reserved your hotel, but you haven't bought your registration yet. If you're one of those, you have to get your registration for two reasons. Number one, once we hit 250, we have to close it, okay? Because we have to respect uh, the CDC rules and, and, and we have to keep our promise on that. So go get your ticket for that reason, number one. Number two, because as of March 1st, it goes up 50 bucks, all right? So for those of you that have to check with someone at home, we totally understand that. You got a few days on that, all right? Because once March, once March 1st rolls around, it's going to cost you a little bit more. Okay, last couple things, and I'll let you get on with your wonderful Thursday here. If you miss the first five minutes of the session, then you miss that I made an announcement on a new service that we're offering at absolutely no cost. Once a day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I'm sharing with, with you a thought, an idea, a strategy, an inspirational story, something. If you text the word morning to 55444, that's morning to 55444. You're going to receive a text message once a day from me. It's not spam. Don't I spam you guys enough. <laughs> you get enough of my emails. All right. This is a lot of times things I'm sharing with our team, things I'm sharing with our brokerages, new scripts, new ideas, new strategies. If you want that every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday morning, you text the word morning to 55444. Text the word morning to 55444. 
All right, I think there was a couple things down in the chat. I'll take a look there. Yep, all right, perfect. Hey, there we go. We'll, we'll be reaching out to you if you attended one of our half day sessions and won something. Everyone else, liveunrealsummit.com. You're gonna be down here in gorgeous Orlando, Florida with all of our greatest followers, greatest clients and successful real estate agents. I can't wait until you guys join me down here. We're gonna have a lot of fun as we always do. Let's go make it a great Thursday. Have a good one. See you guys.